Abering, part, a, wandering, going astray. Aberunkate, v, t, l, overunko, to pull up by the roots, to extirpate utterly. Not used. Abet v, t, sax, betin, gabaton, properly to push forward, to advance, hence to amend, to revive, to restore, to make better, and applied to fire, to increase the flame, to excite, to promote. Hence to aid by encouraging or instigating. Hence in Saxon, not bet a nan man that fire. Let no man bet, better, excite, the fire, ll. Ina. 78. 1. To encourage by aid or countenance, but now used chiefly in a bad sense. To abet an opinion, in the sense of support, is used by Bishop Cumberland, but this use is hardly allowable. 2. In law, to encourage, counsel, incite or assist in a criminal act. Abet, n, the act of aiding or encouraging in a crime. Not used. Abetment, n, the act of abetting. Abetted, pp. Incited, aided, encouraged to a crime. Abetting, ppr. Counseling, aiding or encouraging to a crime. Abetter, n, one who abets, or incites, aids or encourages another to commit a crime. In treason, there are no abettors, all persons concerned being principals. Abevacuation, n, ab and evacuation. In medicine, a partial evacuation of morbid humors of the body, either by nature or art. Abeyance, n, pran. Abeyance, norm. Abeyance, or abeyance, in expectation, buoyance, expectation. Chu. Father Bayer, to gape, to look a long time with the mouth open, to stand looking in a silly manner. See Bay in expectation or contemplation of law. The fee simple or inheritance of lands and tenements is in abeyance, when there is no person in being in whom it can vest, so that it is in a state of expectancy or waiting until a proper person shall appear. Thus if land is leased to a man for life, remainder to another for years, the remainder for years is in abeyance, till the death of the lessee, for life. Abhor, v, t, el abhorio, of abhorio, to set up bristles, shiver or shake, to look terrible. 1. To hate extremely, or with contempt, to luda, detest or abominate. 2. To despise or neglect. PSA 2224. Amos 6 8. 3. To cast off or reject. Peace. 79. 38. Abhorred, pp. Hated extremely, detested. Abhorrence, n. Extreme hatred, detestation, great aversion. Abhorrent, a. 1. Hating, detesting, struck with abhorrence. 2. Contrary, odious, inconsistent with, expressive of extreme opposition, as, slander is abhorrent to all ideas of justice. In this sense, it should be always followed by 2. Abhorrent from is not agreeable to the English idiom. Abhorrently, adverb with abhorrence. Abhorrer, n, one who abhors. Abhorring, PPR. Having great aversion, detesting. As a noun, it is used in Isaiah 66, for the object of hatred, and abhorring to all flesh. Abib, n, h-e-b. Swelling, protuberant. To produce the first or early fruit, a full-grown ear of corn. The first month of the Jewish ecclesiastical year, called also Nisan. It begins at the spring equinox, and answers to the latter part of March and beginning of April. Its name is derived from the full growth of wheat in Egypt, which took place anciently, as it does now, at that season. Abad, v, i, pert, and part, abode, abada, to be, or exist, to continue, w, bod, to be, to dwell, rest, continue, stand firm or be stationary for any time indefinitely. Class BD. Number 7. 1. To rest, or dwell. Gen 29 19. 2. To tarry or stay for a short time. 
Gen 2455. 3. To continue permanently or in the same state, to be firm and immovable. PSA 119-90. 4. To remain, to continue. Acts 2731. Eclate 15. Abide. V. T. 1. To wait for, to be prepared for, to await. Bonds and afflictions abide me. Acts 2023. For is here understood. 2. To endure or sustain. To abide the indignation of the Lord. Joel 10. 3. To bear or endure, to bear patiently. I cannot abide his impertinence. This verb when intransitive, is followed by in or at before the place, and with before the person. Abide with me, at Jerusalem or in this land. Sometimes by on, the sword shall abide on his cities, and in the sense of wait, by far, abide for me. Hosea 3 3. Sometimes by by, abide by the crib. Job 39. In general, abide by signifies to adhere to, maintain defend, or stand to, as to abide by a promise, or by a friend, or to suffer the consequences, as to abide by the event, that is, to be fixed or permanent in a particular condition. Abider, N, one who dwells or continues. Abiding, PPR. Dwelling, remaining, continuing, enduring, awaiting. Abiding, N, continuance, fixed state, residence, and enduring. Abidingly, adverb in a manner to continue, permanently. Ability, N, L. Habilites, ableness, fitness, from habio, to have or hold. 1. Physical power, whether bodily or mental, natural or acquired, force of understanding, skill in arts or science. Ability is active power, or power to perform, as opposed to capacity, or power to receive. In the plural, abilities is much used in a like sense, and also for faculties of the mind, and acquired qualifications. 2. Riches, wealth, substance, which are the means, or which furnish the power, of doing certain acts. They gave after their ability to the work. Ezek 2. 3. Moral power, depending on the will, a metaphysical and theological sense. 4. Civil or legal power, the power or right to do certain things, as an ability to transfer property or dispose of effects, ability to inherit. It is opposed to disability. Abintestate. A. L. Abin and testatus, dying without a will, from in and tester, to bear witness, w, deist, arm, test, witness, c test and testify, in the civil law, inheriting the estate of one dying without a will. Abject, a, l, abjectus, from abjitio, to throw away, from abinjacio, to throw. 1. Sunk to a low condition, applied to persons or things. Hence. 2. Worthless, mean, despicable, low in estimation, without hope or regard. Abject, N. A person in the lowest condition and despicable. PSA 35. Objectedness, N. A very low or despicable condition. Little used. Objection, N. A state of being cast away, hence a low state, meanness of spirit, baseness. Abjectly, adverb in a contemptible manner, meanly, servilely. Abjectness, n, the state of being abject, meanness, servility. Abjuration, n, see abjure. 1. The act of abjuring, a renunciation upon oath, as an abjuration of the realm, by which a person swears to leave the country, and never to return. It is used also for the oath of renunciation. Formerly in England, felons, taking refuge in a church, and confessing their guilt, could not be arrested and tried, but might save their lives by abjuring the realm, that is by taking an oath to quit the kingdom forever. 2. A rejection or denial with solemnity, a total abandonment, as an abjuration of heresy. Abjure, v, t, l, abjuro, to deny upon oath, from abenhuro, to swear, 1. To renounce upon oath to abandon, as to abjure allegiance to a prince. 2. To renounce or reject with solemnity, to reject, as to abjure errors, abjure reason. 
3. To recant or retract. 4. To banish. Not used. Abjured, pp. Renounced upon oath, solemnly recanted. Abjurer, n. One who abjures. Abjuring, ppr. Renouncing upon oath, disclaiming with solemnity. Abjuratory, a. Containing abjuration. A black date, v. t. l. A black doe, from ab and lack, milk, to wean from the breast. Little used. Ablactation, n. l. Ab and lie, milk. Lacto, to suckle. 1. In medical authors, the weaning of a child from the breast. 2. Among ancient gardeners, a method of grafting in which the scion was not separated from the parent stock, till it was firmly united to that in which it was inserted. This is now called grafting by approach or an arching. See graft.